has been very strong so far. Probably Adelaide's best at the moment, Angelo Costanzo. At the other end, Dodd just dwelled on it too long. Important covering tackle from Terry McFlynn. Burns. Tried to play that inside. Bingley did very well just to stick out the back of his foot, really. And intercept the pass, and now Brosk is away over the halfway line, heading towards the corner. Still Alex Brosk. Aloisi with the cover. Inside is Carboni. Moving off the ball is good from Zetkovic. He's in the clear, and Ruben Zetkovic opens the scoring here at Hindmarsh. A cool finish, a composed pass from Carboni. And it's the visitors who take the lead. Wonderful work from Sydney FC going forward. Alex Bross first to speed up the left flank and he always looked like he wanted to get Carboni involved in the play. Carboni on the ball, he looked like he could have got a shot, waited for the run from Zakovic. Beautiful run across the Adelaide defence and the clip ball in from Carboni was world class and then a great finish. Alex. Burns. Still going. Given a big rap by his coach and he's delivered. Wonderful work from Nathan Burns. It was him who won the ball in his own half. He got it wide, but received the return pass, played a lovely wall pass with Carl Beard, and in the finish was cool as you like. Lovely little return pass from Carl Beard outside of the foot, and then Nathan Burns showing speed and skill. Well, if he is the, the new Paul Trimboli, he's now got 115 goals to go. Not a bad way to start, though. Absolutely fantastic. And I guess uh, we should also pay credit, of course, to... Uh, a own goal out of nothing! Sydney FC have regained the lead. Nobody saw that coming. And it's an own goal. It's come off Travis Dodd. Disaster for Adelaide. Having worked so hard to get themselves back into the game, is that a dagger bow? It was good work down the left-hand side, but the cross looked like it had been overhit and Zadkovic wasn't going to get there. Travis Dodd looked like all he needed to do was shepherd it out. Wonderful work from Checkley. Clipped the ball across. It looked like it had eluded the outstretched lunge of Zadkovic. It's been a good start to uh, his Hyundai A-League career for Benito Carboni. Yeah, wonderful uh, couple of pivotal moments in the game and uh, as the games wore on he seems like he's become more and more comfortable with uh, with the way the game's played in this country and uh, he looks like he's going to be a very successful uh, acquisition. Still time though for Adelaide United to uh, get themselves back at least on level terms. Petrovsky, the flag is down and Petrovsky seals it for Sydney. The points are going north. Adelaide United, barring a miracle, have been undone here at Hindmarsh. The sucker punch delivered by the substitute, Sasha Petrovsky. There's a couple of lovely flicks there. It was a first-time touch from Petrovsky. Watch this touch there from Carboni. Absolutely wonderful little back heel back into the path of Petrovsky. Cool little finish with the left foot into the corner of the net. Adelaide, some of the players expecting the offside player to go up, but it was, I think it might have been Volcanus on this far side that played him onside. But what about the lovely touch from Carboni? We talked about pivotal moments. Here's Milligan. Outside of the boot, no fake. This time Carboni, a chance to help himself. He does! Benito Carboni caps a man of the match performance with a goal on debut. He's earned it, he deserves it, and he's done it. You talk about having impact in the game. Benito Carboni, wonderful, wonderful finish. Set up two goals. That time found himself in the clear. It was a lovely outside of the foot through ball. Possibly offside, line ball decision, but gee, from the moment he got inside the penalty area, there was no question what he was going to do. Look at that ball from Milligan, wonderful technique outside of the foot. Have a look at the first touch from Carboni, put it into his path, opened up the angle.